Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is San. This is a reading today for Sagittarius. There are no dates on my readings. I trust that when they find you, if they resonate, then they're yours at that time. Sagittarius, I've done your reading today with my big three decks of cards combined in one giant stack. So you're going to see a blend of all three in your spread today. So Sagittarius, um, I feel like this reading could absolutely be kind of a continuation or a connection to the last reading, although it may be completely separate, but I can just see how this energy may be kind of the next step in the storyline from last Sagittarius. Um, so because mainly I believe because we're beginning with this lioness protection card, it says protection above it. I'm seeing this as you Sagittarius in, um, a stance of protectiveness or defensiveness or guardedness. And if you remember the last Sagittarius reading, it was about somebody that kept coming at you and coming at you and you had to really turn away from them and be very vocal about not wanting, not allowing them in, setting your boundaries really firmly. So that could be, like I said, a pickup from the last reading, um, or this could be completely standalone. It's talking to me about Sagittarius. You are in a place um, right now that is actually really feeling pretty good and you're not wanting anybody to mess with it pretty much is the feeling that I get. It's like maybe, maybe you've just arrived in that good place and so it's like you're not yet established in that stability or balance long enough that you feel you can be open to others influence because it feels like you finally found relief or you finally found balance and you're not you're not wanting to risk it it's like you're protective of it that's what I'm getting from that um and the reason that I'm saying that is because these two cards here growth and the two of air are looking to me a lot like you reaching for clarity reaching for um it feels to me like a really healing process that you've been in recently, Be especially because both of these figures are with their head. Well, this one has her head down. This one has her back to us. So I feel like this is very much almost like a hermit mode type energy where you've really had to turn your focus in on yourself and deal with your own growth, your own clar finding clarity, regaining clarity is what it feels like to me. It feels like one of those phases where everything is put on hold. It's like I said, it could be really a heal, could be a really physical healing process because of this nine of earth coming next. I'm, I'm wanting to say about this, that this could almost be like an illness that, that you have been struggling to recover from to the point where you have, you know, it's, it's pretty much stopped your daily life and you've had to just cocoon and heal and turning away from the outer world or, you know, even your friends and family, you could have been spending a lot of time on your own is what I'm seeing. Whether or not that's the case, whether it's actual physical illness that you're recovering from, it could just be an emotional healing. Um, this card here usually talks to me about clearing out other people's junk from your energetics from your aura right it's like the space around you is your aura but it's all gunked up and muddy you know and you're actually feeling really cloaked and blinded which the two of swords talks about as well this is the two of air two of swords talks about you know not seeing clearly having the blindfold on having being at a crossroads and not knowing what to do because of lack of clarity. So there's some of that coming in here, but it's like lack of clarity because other people's junk has gotten in your way. You've been dealing too much with other people's stuff, other people's influences, other people's opinions maybe. But I'm also, like I said, I'm really getting for some of you that this could actually be a physical illness because sometimes this to me almost looks like virus. You know, those little Petri dishes when they study viruses in a petri dish that's what those look like to me these little because they're because it doesn't look healthy to me basically this card which is really interesting because the nine of pentacles has a very different message but this nine of earth card always talks to me about just junk and 
clutter that is is imposed on you by other people so that's what I'm talking about it's like you've really been working through a process of clearing something either a physical illness or other people's stuff or just moving out of a situation that wasn't healthy for you and then having to heal because of it and it's like you know with this horse card coming next it's like you finally have had your breakthrough recently is what it looks like to me Sagittarius so you've moved from this really muddied gunked up you know not feeling good at all energy put in the time the work the effort I feel like you had no choice you've done the work and now you're coming out the other side you've you've reached the light at the end of the tunnel the breakthrough moment with this horse and that's kind of where we're starting this reading here is in this state stance of protectiveness because it's like you've just broken through you've just finally gotten free of this and it's like you're not you're not wanting anybody to touch it it's like your own pure refined energy your energy finally returned to your free of influence energy you see what i'm saying if this is all other people's stuff surrounding you weighing you down it's like that's that is what you're breaking free of finally so, but the, the message here seems to be, Sagittarius, that in this breakthrough, it could be that it's just so new. It could be one of those, like, you've been really sick for a long time. I'm thinking of my sister. I often mention her in the Sagittarius readings. She has been sick for quite a while, for most of January. And it's like finally feeling better. And you go back out into your life and you almost feel really raw and exposed because, you know, you haven't been in the light of day for a while or you're feeling like you're still not quite strong enough to be exposed again. But you are because you're because you're well again. You have you have found your clarity and wellness. And so you are moving back out into the world. But it's like you feel like. um. It's almost like an, an extra sensitivity about any energy that's pointed in your direction. Like I said, feeling like a raw nerve, feeling really exposed. You being this figure here in the foreground, you know, venturing out, but maybe a bit wobbly, hesitant, protective, um, and, and right away feeling other energy and it being uncomfortable to you perhaps. It's like you're you're not wanting you're not wanting and you just you want to. It's like this has been such an evolution and return to health or clarity for you, that you're just you're. It's almost like you're holding off any new experience or new energy for a time because it's like you just want to be comfortable in this. It's like you just you just got out of it. You just broke through. You're not ready. Basically, you're not ready. So these two cards here, really beautiful message coming through these, love and the orcas. It's coming through as, you know, you see both of them, these sleeping figures. This is what I'm, I'm saying. It's like you've just kind of hunkered down and been through a healing process. You may have been sleeping a lot, right? And what I'm seeing here is with all of this, this animal energy, um, presenting itself to you it's like this is talking to me about the healing that you've been receiving actually it's like you have you have done a lot of work a lot of you know self-growth or you know you may have actually started a new practice like a meditative practice or some kind of discipline that's really been keeping you focused and grounded and centered and returning to self and wellness but this is talking to me about another level of healing that has been going on that you may or may not have been aware of that that could be happening in your sleep it's just talking to me about like spirit or you know the cosmos the god your angels surrounding you and healing you as you sleep both of these cards are really beautiful and so and it's kind of this evolution it's actually like it it was increasing or the effect that it was having on you is increasing because it's going from this one lion wrapped around you to these multiple orca coming coming in i see them as like giving you a kiss on your cheek offering you a healing touch it's almost like receiving reiki from spirit directly right so um it's like the effect or the impact of the of all of that work what you've been putting in and what spirit has been putting in on your behalf 
has led you to this really powerful place with this rhinoceros. It says moderation. It's a really interesting message. It's talking to me about that this has been perhaps a long process, a slow process. Today I'm seeing this energy as moving very deliberately and methodically with the message of moderation coming in. But in that, it's like I'm seeing this as kind of a, a slow increase back of slow stepping up back into wellness if you see what i'm saying because this card here is like this breakthrough moment with this with this guy on the back of the rhino being so lit up what it's talking to me about is that this slow progression back into your pure aura your pure auric field having it com being completely cleansed and returning to the bright energy that you are the bright light that you are it's like there is a moment that, that occurred to you that you're going to be noticed, at least energetically. It's like there was a reading recently. Which reading was it? Was it Virgo? About, about like an energetic signal being sent out to the universe, like the, like the bat. Um, you know, in Batman, when the bat sign shines up into the sky, like a beacon. It's almost like you're suddenly feeling really self-conscious because you're realizing what a powerful energetic output you're having or frequency that you're broadcasting and you're suddenly becoming really self-conscious. Is this kind of an energy? But this this one is, is more um, energetic. It's like you're feeling it. You're feeling kind of maybe intuitively, you know, I'm not talking about going out into the world and feeling sensitive and exposed. I'm talking about more of, of an intuitive sense that your light is getting brighter and therefore it's going to start attracting attention. Attracting people, maybe, maybe not. What it's talking about is just attracting. It's like you are becoming a strong beacon. You are becoming very magnetic. Not necessarily to people, perhaps, yes, but, but to just experiences or opportunities, to just to life, events. Things are almost speeding towards you because you, you're ready for it. It's like I said here that you're feeling not ready, but it's like energetically you are ready. You're this really bright beacon and there is an energy responding to it. The universe is responding to it. What specifically the universe is, is bringing towards you because of that, I can't see here yet anyway, but there is absolutely, it's almost like this, this threshold point that you, it's the threshold point that you passed over. It's like that it, when you hit that breakthrough, it's like you realize it's almost this, Sagittarius, I'm feeling from you this almost feeling of, oh shit, something's coming. A new experience is on its way to me. And it's like, you're, you're not, you're feeling like you're not ready. It's with this Hierophant card and the fruition. This is talking to me about, well, it's just reinforcing this, this really powerful energetic stance that you're, it's all, I'm also really being drawn to, this hierophant often looks to me like the magician because because it has all the magician's tools here on the on the mantle. So it's like like it or not, Sagittarius, you've kind of stumbled back into a really powerful manifestational energy, magician energy where you are pulling things towards you. And part of it is because you've you're kind of embodying this fruition energy right now where you're just feeling well again. You're feeling like yourself again. And it's like that it, that attracts attention. It's like all these bees and birds that are showing up. The birds and the bees are showing up to because you're attractive. You are attractive in a, in a vibration of wellness and wholeness and balance. You are attractive. And it's like you know that. And it's almost like you want to back down a little bit from it, Sagittarius, I'm feeling like. Because, as I said, it's, it's, it's like you've been through a lot. It's been really difficult and you just had this breakthrough and you're not ready to be attractive or to jump into anything new. So it's almost like you're, you're it's a really tricky energy because being, being in this energy 
you are attractive. You can't really back down from it though. It's like you have to be well, you have to be thriving. You can't be less than that in order to ward off experience. But I can see why if this is, is a continuation of the story from last time and you've been really dealing with a tricky energy to free yourself from, that it's like you don't want your light on necessarily yet. It's like you want to just stay protected for a while. I get that, absolutely. But it's like energetically, it's not really possible, it seems like. So you're in this energy here, blossoming. You are blossoming. You are you are in it. Like I said, you can't back down from it. You can't undo it. You can't be less than well because others are going to be drawn to it. And so you are being this energy, embracing this energy, but the look on her face is really almost like self-consciousness. It's like you're re I feel like you're really uncomfortable, Sagittarius. It's like, I mean, I was going to say, it's kind of a good problem to have. It's like you're feeling so powerful, you know you're going to attract attention. But you're just not ready. But I have a feeling, I mean, I have a feeling you are really ready. You don't realize how ready you are, I believe. Perhaps you don't realize that it, this is a really um a really grounded stable not easily toppled energy this hierophant energy is not easy to move and i feel like maybe you're feeling you're not feeling that specifically because you've just gotten here you've just arrived here and you don't realize the stability within it right i think this is a really new place for you sagittarius you haven't been in this kind of a, I mean, of, of course you've been in wellness and lack of wellness throughout your lifetime, but there's something really specific about this last cycle, especially if it ties into the last one where that, where that energy kept coming at you, kept coming at you. And I believe that I did say in that reading that it was finally overcome for the final time it was overcome. And then it's like, this is talking about, and because of that, because it had finally been expelled from your life, you moved into a process of healing finally and coming out the other side in this, in this breakthrough moment, this is a new breakthrough. It is not like that cycle before. So as I'm, what I'm saying, it's a completely new realm. So you haven't been in this specific energy before. This is new to you which is part of what's going on here. It's like you're getting used to that. But you can also feel how powerfully attractive you are. So you're, you're doing your thing. You are you're, are fully aware that your energetic vibration is being broadcast out to the universe, but it's almost like you're, you're almost trying to hold it back a little bit. Sagittarius is what I'm feeling. And I'm going to continue to pull cards to create an extended. I have a really strong feeling that, that, you know, the guidance and the cards is just going to say, Sagittarius, don't hold back. Just be yourself. Be amazing. You know, shine your light. Be gorgeous. Don't be concerned about what arrives because, first of all, it's not what comes next won't resemble your past because you're in a new energetic state. And so that will attract new experiences. And secondly, that generally you should expect that what comes in will match your energy. Generally. I'm reluctant to say that with a really authoritative stance because I've experienced I have experienced otherwise. We won't get into that right now though. So we'll just leave it at you're in a gorgeous place and what is coming next. Although you, I mean, you have free will and you can absolutely hold off the next chapter for a while if you need to. That's absolutely appropriate, your choice. But I, I have a feeling the guidance in the cards next is going to say you have nothing to fear Sagittarius because you're in a really 
powerful energy and what is coming next will not be like what you just left. It cannot be. You have completely transmuted that energy, so it cannot be again. So I'll continue to pull cards, create an extended, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.